Good morning. <laughs> welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, it's day 16 of focus. Yeah, I'm really liking focus. Um, and uh, the next month I've got the plan. I should be launching it in the next few days. Very, very excited about the new plan. I always get like this. I get, I love what I'm doing. And then I go, oh, wow, the next one. <laughs> um so yes yeah, so we're up and up again today uh, we're going to start standing and we are going to move together um yeah loads of adventures happening at the moment and maybe i'll tell you stories as i move come 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 so it comes down on your mat mm, feet are hip distance apart and just close your eyes and just feel standing as you begin. And so what's amazing is that we're never still. You're never not moving. And so as you stand here with your eyes closed, just feel the movement of you. Even allow yourself to sway a bit, or, but don't force a sway, just allow a sway. So we're, we're more or less continuously in the process of balancing. We fall a bit, we stop it, we fall a bit. We, we're always like stopping ourselves falling over. So feel yourself lean a little bit forward and then pull yourself back. And then very gently feel yourself lean backwards and then pull yourself forward. Inside. And side, eyes stay closed and begin to just lean a bit. Be careful because I'm asking you to unbalance yourself a little bit. And just sway a little bit bigger. So you feel the edges of your balance point. Like it's so ridiculously tiny, <laughs> this space that we, we stay balanced in. And that we're doing it all day long. It's just, it's mind boggling mind boggling my word for the day <laughs> nice and then open your eyes and continue to sway a bit like and be random with it you know can you go in many different directions as you sway <laughs> Wow, my toes have to work so much. I remember hearing once that it's really hard to balance if you don't have, if your big toes aren't working very strongly. So nice, so stand on one foot. Maybe you need to use the wall and just roll the other ankle. Have your knee high if you can as you roll and then roll in the other direction. Nice. Bring your foot to the floor, other side, lift your other foot and roll your ankle. Um, so years ago, my mom used to be a, an aerobic instructor. And so the best thing to do was not go to school and end up in her aerobics class. And she used to do it in Cloche de Connacht, which is down the road. And then we should do it in Furbo as well. Roll your ankle in the other direction. She had a ghetto blaster that they used to strap onto the back of a bicycle. Like it was amazing. And uh, fame was all the craze at the time, hands to your hips. And so Jane Fonda, well, I grew up on Jane Fonda, literally. We had leg warmers, we had shiny leotards, uh, roll in the other direction. So somebody said yesterday that the class was very Jane Fonda-ish, and I take that as the highest compliment you can give me. <laughs> yeah, Jane Fonda, she was amazing. God almighty. So roll down along your spine, bring your feet a little bit closer. Softening into your knees, roll down. Rolling up, reach your arms wide, reach up, and reach as high as you can as you reach up. Nice, and then all the way down. And then all the way up. Reach, lengthen up. And one more time, all the way down. I remember being down the back of the aerobics class and swinging and reaching and it was just amazing. 
Oh, roll your shoulders, big circle. There's still some songs that when they come on the radio, I cannot help but move to the certain movements. There's a Steely Dan song, uh, New York City. Oh my God, it's just Arthur. It's the Arthur theme, theme tune. Love it. Make fists out of your hands, roll into your wrists. So the other day we did the big, big six. We're gonna do a really brief big six. We're just gonna tap them. So number one, I'm just gonna go through them again, is here across your collarbones. Number two is up into your neck and head. Number three is your armpits. Number four is your belly. Number five is your groin. And number six is the back of your knees. So just tap really, really lightly, like your fingertips are just gently tapping across your collarbones. Both hands. Nice, and then up through the side of your face and head. Tap really lightly. Mm, nice, face. <laughs> Go gently with your face. Armpits, you can do both. <laughs> side of your ribs, armpits. Bit of a maneuver, belly. Brian. Back to your knees. And then keeping your feet flat on the floor and just do a bit of a bounce. I'm going to close my eyes so I'm doing balance as well as bouncing. <laughs> and just let the sense of momentum or the rebound let the rebound recoil <laughs> god i love words let the rebound recoil through your arms so there's a spring effect in your arms you can probably hear it in my voice <laughs> nice and then shake your hands really hard hands nice Cool, so come stand to the front of your mat and just check in, just feel. So for me always, I love a bit of a warm up or a connecting in rather than going straight into uh, my standing poses straight away. So step back with your left foot and step back so that you're around two foot backwards and your two legs are straight, okay? My chest is turning towards the left and my two hands are resting on my thighs. Bend your knees a little bit and then straighten your legs strongly. Reach your arms straight out to the sides. From here, reach out with your right hand and then down and let your left hand extend straight up towards the sitting. So triangle pose. And then push into that left foot and send loads of strength up through your left arm. So the left arm is reaching and rising and the whole left side of your ribs, the left side of your leg is really engaging. Breathe into your belly. Sometimes people turn their heads and look up at their left hand. My neck doesn't do that. I find that my, my muscles at the top of my neck and shoulders, I think they're either too big or they're too strong or too tight. I'm not sure, but when I turn my head, I just get pinching at my neck, so I don't do that. So reach even deeper and breathe even deeper. Just pausing, connecting. Nice, keep your left hand up towards the ceiling and rise up. And now bring your right hand to your hip and turn your chest towards the front of your mat, towards your right leg. And then reach out with your left hand and then bring your left hand down to your right leg. So I'm twisting over that right leg. My right hand is on my hip or you can, if you want, bring your right hand around the back of you, wrap your right hand around the back of you, and then draw your right shoulder back. Breathing as you do this. Nice, slowly slide your hand up your thigh, step forward. Pause. Nice. So step back with the right leg. 
Right leg steps back, around two foot back. Bend your knees to begin with, and then straighten through your legs. Reach your arms wide. And then strong arms, strong legs. Reach your left hand out and then down, and let your left hand come down to your shin and reach the right arm up. So push down into the baby toe side of your right foot and reach deeply up through the right arm. Again, if you feel comfortable turning your head, do, but I, I don't, yeah, I don't want to do that. Mm, no. And keep pushing into that baby toe side of your right foot, reaching up through the right side of your ribs, filling and expanding into the right side. Nice. Rising up, reach your right hand straight up towards the ceiling. Bring your left hand to your hip or wrap your left hand around the back of you. And then reach forward towards that left leg. So you're slowly coming down, bringing your hand down to your left shin. And you're twisting over that left leg. Nice. Slowly bend your front knee as you rise. Slide your hand up your thigh. Step forward. Pause. Notice your body. Feel where you feel connected, where you're feeling engaged, where there's activity and movement happening. A sense of connection. Nice. So again, like we did before, step back with your le uh, left foot. Cool. Reach your arms wide. Seems very similar to the last one. Drop your right hand, oh, reach your right hand out and then down and bring your right hand down to your right shin. Reach the left hand up. Nice. So we're here, but we're going to bring it to the next level. So bring your left hand to your left hip. Bend your front knee and look forward beyond your right foot. And then bring your right fingers down so your thumb is out from your baby toe and then hop forward so that your left foot is off the floor stay here or begin to straighten the front leg and lift the left leg high stay here or reach the left hand up towards the ceiling your chest is turned towards the left left hand left leg rising high maybe maybe they're low really find where you need to be Bring your hand to your hip if you straightened it. Bend your right leg. Bring your left foot back down so you're back into the triangle pose with your legs. Rising up. Turn towards the front of your mat. Bring your right hand to your hip. Bend both knees and slowly reach your left hand down to the floor. So now my right hand is on my hip. My left hand is on the floor. Lean forward, lift your right left foot off the floor. Sorry, lift the left foot off the floor. So now my left leg is straight back behind me. Right hand is on my hip. Left hand is on the floor. Your toe can be low. Your leg can be high. Nice. Bring your foot all the way back. And come up to stand. Pause. Right, other side. Step your right foot back. Reach your right arms, your right, your both arms wide. Drop down into your triangle to begin with. Bring your right hand to your hip. Bend your front knee and reach your thumb so it's out from your baby toe and reach it a good nine inches out. Then hop your back foot forward and just pause there with your back foot floating off the floor or your foot on the floor. See what's right. And then maybe. Lift your right foot. Maybe reach your right hand up. See where you are with this. See how that is for you.
Nice, hand to your hip, foot to the floor, rising up, left hand to your hip, right hand up towards the ceiling, and then reach your right hand down, bend your front knee, right hand down, lean forward, no weight into that right foot, maybe you lift it, maybe you just have it light, see what's right for you. Nice, bring your feet beside each other, slowly rolling up. Pause. Oh, we really kind of... <laughs> so come stand, uh, bring your elbows to your knees. Maybe you sit a bit deeper down, maybe your feet are on a block, maybe your bum is on a small chair or Maybe your bum is on the wall. Find, like we did early on in focus, how do you support yourself in your squat? What is your version of a squat? The inspiration for the squat is one of the students in the medium class, and she came up to me last night. She said that actually the thing that she had been, that we had talked about at the very, very beginning of focus was actually starting to happen in her practice. I was very inspired. So we're back just for you. <laughs> so just feel, how do you settle in and feel into your squat? Now maybe your arms are between your knees, maybe your bum on the wall and you drop your head a bit deeper. Nice. So carefully and with attention, drop your bum to the floor, stretch your legs out long. So whatever way you do, come down from either on the chair, on the wall, the low, the block, bring your bum to the floor and just roll into your ankles. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. So draw your right knee up towards you. And then just move your right knee out to the side and then back to center. You're just noticing how that moving knee out and moving knee back. Nice, other side, draw your left knee up towards you. Knee out, knee back. Those of you who were with me last night, that'll make a lot more sense. <laughs> We were doing a lot of this. We had the belts out last night. Um, I very rarely use props, but I have belts inside in the classes in town. Maybe once every term or twice every term, I'll take my belt out. So those of you who weren't with me last night, we're going to do belts tonight. <laughs> Stretch your leg out long. Nice. Come into a cross-legged position with your left leg on the inside. And just pause, sitting up tall. How are your knees? How do your hips feel? How does your spine feel? Lean back, stretch your legs out long, and then come into a cross-legged position with your right leg on the inside. Pause. Stretch your legs out long. Cool. So left foot on the inside, right foot on the outside. And then draw your right knee up towards you. And I'm going to wrap my forearm around the back of my knee and pull my right knee up towards me. And I'm holding on to my right wrist with my left hand. And so I have this sense of there's a bind happening here. And then draw your shoulder back and sit up as tall as you can. So your right thigh is moving towards your chest. And then you're going to lean a little bit forward so that your sit bones, so more so than falling backwards onto the back of your pelvis, you're trying to lean a little bit forward so that your sit bones are a little bit more on the floor. Roll your ankle. Nice, and then pointing your toe, begin to straighten your leg. Nice, reach forward, hold on to your foot with your left hand. Reach forward, hold on to your foot with your right hand, and then pull your knee towards your shoulder. 
So now we're hugging. It's like, oh, how old do you see your big toe? You've just stubbed your toe. You go, oh, my big toe. You try and look at your big toe. Nice. One last version of this. Bring your right hand to the arch of your right foot. So my thumb is pointing downwards and you're going to come into happy baby just for a moment. So your thumb is pointing down. My hand is wrapped around the arch of my foot and I'm pulling my right shoulder back behind. No, pulling my right knee back behind my right shoulder. Pause. Nice. Lower your foot down, stretch both legs long and then the other side. So bring your right foot closer in and then wrap your left arm around the back of your knee. Hold on to your wrist and just pause there, finding that sense of how do I lean a little bit forward towards my sit bones and then roll into your ankles. Ankle. And roll in the other direction. Nice. Point into your toe, straighten your leg. Straighten your leg. And one more time. Straighten your leg. Cool. Reach down, hold on to the left foot with your right hand. So that's going to be the easiest version because your shoulder can move forward very easily. And then wrap your left hand around your foot as well if you can. Or hold on to your ankle. And then sit up tall. How would you look at your big toe as close as you can? You've just stubbed it. You're like, ow, my toe. And you want to look at your big toe. Nice. Last of these, bring your left hand to the inside of the arch of your left foot. Your thumb is pointing down, your hand is wrapped around your arch, and then sit up tall. Nice. Release and come land on the floor. So landing on the floor, in the beginning your back is going to go and it's going to land and settle. So just feel that. We were working the deep stabilizers, the scalies, the rhomboids, the quadratus lumborum, the erector spinae, all those deep muscles of the spine that stabilize and support us. And now gently rock your knees from one side to the other side. And just feel how that lengthens into the deep of your spine. How awesome. Nice. And then come to stillness. Come to pause. Feet are on the floor or legs are like long. And just pause there and feel your spine. Feel your hips. Feel your legs. Feel the whole of your body. Nice. So day 16. So we have maybe five days left until day 21 when we take our break again. And um, so tomorrow I'll probably launch, I'll launch uh, November. Um, and uh, so keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> uh, so great, slan slan, bye.